that wonderful girl. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to the vlog thank you guys so much for clicking on my channel and of course for joining me today uh today i'm gonna basically start out our first day of my weekly omad vlog and so i just wanted to guys, uh, kind of show you a little bit of what i'm going to be breaking my fast with and if you're new here don't forget of course to give the video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe become part of the guys' family for sure um, so basically, I'm just having leftovers from everything that we meal prepped yesterday. And if you didn't get a chance to see that, I will go ahead and link that vlog up here somewhere so that you guys can take a look and see what we had. But in short, I'll go ahead and give you guys a brief little, you know, a little thing here. Uh, so basically, my husband made burgers yesterday. So I have a little bit of leftover rye bread that I just kind of toasted up quickly. A burger, a little bit of Swiss cheese, and of course, some leftover turkey bacon from last week. And I'm basically just kind of making myself a little burger here, pickle on the side. And then he also made some um, mashed potatoes. And I also, I may actually made the fried cabbage, which looks so delicious. And it was so good yesterday, like caramelized, mm, just delicious. So that's what I have right here on this little side plate. And then finally, I have some leftover cucumbers and tomatoes that were already cut up from when we made our gyros or, you know, kind of like our gyros from last week. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish that up. I did add on a little bit of um, balsamic vinaigrette to that. So I kind of have like a little mini salad here. So I'm excited about that. Just excited basically to eat, honestly. That's pretty much what it is. Um, I went ahead and made my, my um, protein coffee. Of course, you guys already know it is usually my Starbucks dark roast. I love, love, love the dark roast with a little bit of Atkins and whatever kind of creamer that I have on hand here. Um, and that just kind of helps me out to kind of round out my meal and hopefully hold me over a little bit because I usually fast for a very long time. Um, my husband actually ate Nutter Butters today um, on his way to come get me. So I, he saved me two of them, which is awesome. So I'm probably gonna have that to finish off my meal with my coffee. That's gonna be delicious. For bubbles, I have a Sprite Zero Sugar. And then of course my water cup for the week is this one right here that my bestie gave me. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so I think that's pretty much about it. Oh, let me go ahead and show you guys the fasting that I did from yesterday on. Okay. So currently we are at 22 hours, 26 minutes um, that I've done the fasting. So I'm gonna go ahead and end my fast here and I cannot wait to chow down. I'm so hungry. Today was a good day, weather is looking pretty promising, so hopefully it'll start to warm up a little bit more here soon, because it definitely dropped back down last week. So we're hoping for some nice warm weather. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have my break my fast with you guys, and I hope that you guys are having a great start to your week. I will check in with you guys tomorrow, same time, same place, right back here on the channel. Take care, bye. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday the 20, I want to say, 7th. And I wanted to get on here and show you guys a little bit of the food that I made today. Everything looks delicious. I was really in a breakfasty mood. I kind of wanted something different besides sausage or hamburgers. Um, so I went ahead and made myself a pancake. Yes, a big pancake. Now, am I going to eat this whole pancake? Probably not, but a big pancake. And I put some... Um, roasted uh, pecans on there that I roasted myself. I always get the bag of like raw pecans at the grocery store and I just kind of roast them myself. So I have that and I'm gonna pop on whatever's left here for the maple syrup. And yeah, that's gonna be delicious. I really was in a breakfasty mood. Um, so with that being said, you guys saw me doing the making the hash browns. I did do a little bit of scrambled eggs with some sharp cheddar cheese, a little bit of salt and pepper on top. 
I did three little sausage links here on the side. And then that, this is the leftover turkey bacon that I had available. So it's only like three pieces here. So that's pretty much what I have there as well. I am super hungry and cannot wait to chow down, but I have my um, protein coffee. And then for bubbles today, I have a Sprite Zero Sugar. This one is that winter spiced cranberry. This one's actually pretty good. I'm not a big Sprite fan, but I, I actually like ginger ale better than I like Sprite, but I like the taste of this one. It's actually pretty decent. And then as far as my fast goes, I am up to right now, 21 hours, 53 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and end my fast right now. It is 3.19, almost 3.20 in the afternoon. Hopefully you guys can see it, boop, boop, boop. Uh, but I'm going to end my fast here and chow down. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying your week. It is hump day, middle of the week. Oh my goodness, we're almost, I mean, that much closer to Friday. So it's going to be good and we're going to end on a strong note. So I hope you guys are having a great week, like I said. And I will see you all tomorrow, same time, same place, right back here on the channel. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today is Sunday. I know, right? Just burp, 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 right into Sunday. And um, basically, yeah, uh, it is the last day of March. We have made it through um, for OMED, you know, for at least three months now. Tomorrow will be April the 1st. So we are on the fourth month, basically tomorrow. Um, but yeah, three months of OMED, doing good, feeling good. Um, everything seems to be working out pretty decently. Did a weigh-in the other day. I came down to 225. So yeah, it is working out for me for sure. So I'm loving the OMED lifestyle. Uh, but today I wanted to kind of give you guys a little glimpse of the meal preps that we did for the week. Actually, I can't even take on any of the credit. I just kind of thought up some meals, but my husband pretty much made everything else happen. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what we're going to have for this week. Um, I am going to also give you guys a little rundown of what happened for the rest of the week. Um, so the last time I checked in with you guys was Thursday. Um, and then Friday, we ended up having to go to the local, you know, mall. And I was picking up a package there. Uh, there was a Cheesecake Factory there. So we went ahead and just sat down for the happy hour for Cheesecake Factory happy hour. And we just split a bunch of appetizers just between me and my husband, which was really nice. Um, I had a water with lemon and he had a Diet Coke. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we just split some appetizers, which was, turned out to be great. And it was a really nice afternoon for us. Um, the mall was crowded. <laughs> I guess it's because it's the holiday weekend, but yeah, we had a really good time. We both got a cheesecake to bring home and um, yeah, it was really, really good. But I didn't, I don't think I finished my fast until like later that evening, like seven or eight o'clock. So yeah, it was a, uh, it was a full day on Friday. Uh, Saturday, um, I went to a bridal shower, which was so nice, so lovely. Congratulations to Alan and David. 55 or 54 more days for them now. Um, until they say I do, but yeah, bridal shop was really nice. Food was delicious. There was Ethiopian, which is one of my favorite dishes. And it was homemade Ethiopian as well. It was so, so good. So there was some uh, beef, you know, cubed beef, and then some um, stewed lamb. Oh, so good. And then with the little injera bread, I got to eat with my hands. It was awesome. It was really, really good. So had that, um, they had like a little charcuterie board. So of course I had little meats and cheeses and little crackers and stuff like that. And I think like some um, grapes, but yeah. Oh, and some mac and cheese as well. So I showed you guys like a little video of that. I think I got some lemonade, but I pretty much brought my water cup with me, which was great because I really needed that. 
But yeah, had an awesome time with them on Saturday. And then of course today, yeah, <laughs> we're here, you know, bringing us back to today. Uh, basically my husband just went ahead and prepped all the food. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we're gonna have to dine on this week. All right, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, so he actually ended up making some stir fry that comes with a little package. Um, it's usually frozen, but it just basically comes with noodles, veggies, and of course the uh, teriyaki or stir fry sauce. So we're actually going to be using that with some of this uh, pan seared chicken that he did. And the chicken is pretty much going to be spread between a couple of different meals. So first it's going to be like a chicken um, stir fry. Um, he always makes a pot of rice. So that's an every week kind of staple. Um, the chicken is also going to be used with our noodles. So there is some uh, like an Alfredo sauce that we have in a jar and then also some pesto sauce. So we can decide if we really want chicken and, you know, chicken, you know, Alfredo or if we want chicken pesto. So this is, can be, you know, a couple different dishes just depending on our taste buds and how we feel uh, this week. But basically, yeah, chicken Alfredo, chicken pesto, chicken stir fry. So one, one main <laughs> One main, um, you know, protein can kind of spread, be a spread among the dish, different dishes. Or my husband's favorite, which is chicken and rice, because that is what he has usually on an every week basis. And then finally in the back here, just a couple cans of tuna that I had my husband drain for me. I will go ahead and make the tuna this week. Tuna is perfect because we can do tuna wraps. You can do a tuna on salad. And of course, just regular tuna with crackers or whatever the case is, which is perfect as well. So that is what we have for our uh, meals this week. So this is what we will be dining on. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna probably get sick of the chicken or sick of the tuna, but I mean, that's just that's just my makeup, honestly. After about two or three days of me eating the same meal, I kind of get really, really tired of it and I definitely want something different. But this weekend coming up, we're hanging out with one of our favorite cousins. We cannot wait to see him and we're taking him out to eat on Saturday. So you know what? Monday through Friday, I'm perfectly, I'm gonna, I will force, <laughs> myself to eat this food i don't care only because i know we're going out to eat on saturday and we're taking our favorite cousin out as our treat because we absolutely love him and just want to catch up so that's basically it guys so i will see you all tomorrow for the start of our fourth month on omad along with a start of a brand new weekly vlog if you guys enjoyed the video give me a big thumbs up don't forget to go ahead and uh, share the video with anybody that you feel it would really help and then, of course, you know, don't forget to hit subscribe, follow, I mean, become part of the guys' family and just see what we cook up and meal prep and all that good stuff. And hopefully this will give you a little inspiration and some ideas for your own meal prepping or for just, you know, things that you can kind of throw together on a weekly basis just to kind of get you through the week. All right. Well, I will see you all tomorrow. Same time, same place, right back here on the channel. Take care, guys.